Journal Record editor Ted Struley joins us to discuss other stories making news in business this week. Ted, a recent report suggests low energy prices are hurting Oklahoma's manufacturing sector. That's right. The report came from the Kansas City branch of the Federal Reserve this week and uh, suggested that in the 10th district, uh, manufacturing numbers are down from the previous month and it's mostly attributable to the low price of oil and things slowing down in the oil patch. Falling gas prices are also affecting sales of CNG vehicles. They really are. You know, CNG is a pretty attractive price point for fueling vehicles when gas is high, but when it's this low, there isn't a lot of incentive to spend money converting a fleet over to CNG or to uh, buy CNG vehicles. So right now we're seeing uh, that sector get really sluggish. A war of words between Oklahoma's Attorney General and the Humane Society is heating up. What's the latest on that? Right. Well, uh, this is between the fights between Scott Pruitt and the Humane Society of the United States. Uh, I think we should point out that they are not in any way affiliated with the Central Oklahoma Humane Society. But uh, Attorney General Pruitt has asked them for some documents that they feel is uh, motivated by nothing more than political harassment. So uh, they are suing, asking for an injunction to force him to stop. They're interestingly being represented by none other than Drew Edmondson, who held the Attorney General's job here for about two decades. Water is a big issue in most of Oklahoma, and State Representative Bobby Cleveland has filed a bill to help his constituents secure a reliable water supply. Tell us about that. Well, it's a little bit tricky because the water supply is groundwater under prison property in Lexington, uh, which the rural water district there, rural water district number one in Cleveland County, would like to be able to access that water. The prison uh, would like to sell it to them, but there's no real mechanism in place for that to happen. So this bill would make it clear that the DOC can, in fact, sell the water to the rural water district. Oklahoma vintners want the legislature to help the state's grape industry. Well, they do. There's uh, about $200,000 sitting in a revolving fund that was set up some time ago, currently controlled by the Department of Commerce. The vintners think that if they could move that fund over to the Agriculture Department's control, they'd be able to put it to better use. Ted, what are you working on for next week? Well, you know, nationally this year, uh, solar power has really taken off. Um, installations of new solar have outpaced both CNG and wind. Reporter Sarah Terry Kobo will take a look at how that's playing out in Oklahoma in Monday's paper. Ted Struley, editor of the Journal Record, thank you. My pleasure.